How you guys doing? Good. Yourself? Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Start off with a non-football question. Uh, okay. NFL PA, you guys had your meeting yesterday and, uh-huh. and uh, election. Can you tell us, I'm assuming you're the president. Oh, uh, uh, the president? Oh, no. <laughs> Eric not, Winston. Not <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got to like the rep. Um, you know, it's kind of a status quo meeting. Um, Brock Coyle and Marquise Gilman were the alternates. Um, yeah, it was a good productive meeting. What was discussed and what was... Uh, everything. Um, talking about the, the expiring CBA, obviously. Um, talking about workers' comp, talking about guys, um, just in general, general knowledge of, of your, um, the things the union does for you. I guess it's pretty, uh, there's nothing really, it's pretty generic, you know, it wasn't anything informative. It's, it wasn't like our union meetings, you know, it's inviting guys to union meetings, annual meetings um, that are going to be in Florida this year, um, benefits, things like that, that the guys get, that's pretty much it. Was there concern about there being a lockout with the CBA? Um, there wasn't concern, it's going to happen, so it's not like, you know, guys are guessing on that one. Uh, what makes you so sure? Because there was a lockout before. There was, it, it, nothing's to, nothing's. We, we don't plan on changing anything about the deal that we, you know, currently have right now. So, um, you know, I don't think it's going to be negotiated before the, the end of the CBA. So, it's kind of, yeah, it's going to cause a lockout and then we'll deal with it from there. It's your, it's your, your first week uh, of a regular season week in, in a different uniform. Anything feel different to you this week? Uh, I got my Kobe cleats, so, you know, those felt pretty comfortable. But other than that, no, no, everything felt, felt pretty good. Uh, you know, just going through, getting my mind right, getting my preparation right, my plays, third down, third down, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Robert spoke about your communication with the rookies and with them as well. How was all of that meshing and your mentorship with some of these younger players? Uh, I think it's I, I think it's going great. You know, I think you know they, it's it's one of those things when you when you've never communicated and you've never you know been forced to talk and you never talk. You know, it's a bunch of quiet eleven quiet guys out there. And I think when you get to the point where everybody's communicating, then that's the that's the standard. That's the bottom line. Then everybody knows. Hey, man, I, I got to say something. I recognize this formation. This guy's tight. The backs split out wide. You know, whatever the case may be. Um, and so I think the guys have taken taken to. Uh, you once called Stephon Diggs one of the more underrated receivers in the NFL. What makes him so challenging? Uh, well, he's, he's a good route runner. Um, he's, he's very detailed uh, in, in regards to his depth and, and, and you know how he manipulates the route. Um, Thielen, same way. He's a he, he great hands, um, very deliberate route runner. Um, you know, reliable, consistent. Those are things that you know they've always done well in Minnesota. They have a ton of talent on both sides of the ball, so. The to the challenge. You said after the, the Colts game that you had wished that they had uh, tested you deep with T.Y. Hilton. Are you satisfied with that? I mean, have you gotten that, um, you know, taken care of in, in practice? Have you taken Marquise Goodwin out after practice and have him? Yeah, we, we got the reps in practice, so it's not something I'm, I'm really concerned about at this point. Um, you know, coaches have, have gotten, gotten it inside the game plans and, and uh, periods of practice that we, we go through got me opportunities to, to see the deep ball and, and to make plays on it. So, uh, yeah, it's comfortable. When, before you get out there on the practice field, Richard, we noticed you go off and get a little treatment. Is that just more of a routine now that you've gotten used to to get everything loosened up? And uh, Yeah, yeah, it's just kind of something I've, I've started to do with Ray, and we've kind of gotten yeah. into a routine about it. And, you know, it's just con- continued throughout. Does, does it take a while to loosen up? Or? Not really, not really, actually warm up pretty quick after that. That's more just like stretch and, right. and you know, getting on the uh, massager and then I do a few ladders and then I'm off practice. Is, is that something that was recommended to you maybe by Kobe or somebody else just to go through that? No, no, it's just something that kind of kind of happened. It was, it was the routine I, I would always do before we would do like the rehab sessions. Mm-hmm. And then once we got to practice, I just kind of continued it. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Okay. Richard, do you expect, you know, school of thought is that they're going to approach you early and often to see if you're still Richard Sherman. Uh, I don't. I don't even think about it. Honestly, I don't think about it either way. I'm going to go out there and cover the guy I'm on and and keep catching the ball. So I don't. I don't think. Man, they're going to try me early. I got to be on my game. I'm 
man, they're not gonna, you know, I don't, I don't, never thought about that, so not a big deal either way. All, all your teammates say you pretty much fit in se seamlessly since you got here. Just curious, when you were coming in at first, were you curious about how you'd be accepted into a new locker room, switching teams for the first time, and given the rivalry between two teams, obviously? Uh, not really. You know, I'm a social butterfly. Uh, so uh, it wasn't anything I was really considered, uh, concerned about. I think that um, a lot, most of these guys, I mean, outside of Joe and maybe Selleck, like, no, none of these guys were here when we would play Frisco and go through all that. Uh, so, I, you know, I wasn't worried about that at all. Joe was a, a pretty... Pretty, pretty great guy, so, you know, pretty down to earth and understood, you know, the ball's football business. With the changes that have happened, you know, in your, in your life playing here, do you feel you go into this season opener like a veteran, or is there a little bit of a, a rookie excitement, uh, rookie feel for you? It's always that rookie excitement. I, I don't think it changes from when you're first year to your eighth year. Um, I think that you always go into it knowing that you're going to have a chance, you know, to do something special and you're excited about the possibility, you know, you get the butterflies and all that. I don't think that will ever change, you know. What kind of conclusions have you reached, if any, about the personality of the defense? And is it... Um... Um, I think we're going to be really dynamic. I think we're going to be, be able to be incredibly multiple and varied in our sets. And, you know, I think you're going to be surprised by some of the guys who stand out in the first game. Couple more. When you came in with, with Earl and Cam, I mean, that's a lot of personality. That's a lot of fire. Do, do you see that? I mean, do you see the potential for that in some of the younger players? Uh, I mean, it's hard, to, it's hard to see without going out there playing games. You know, we haven't played games. So, you know, that would be a kind of biased opinion, obviously. Um, you know, we have played a ton of games together. And in our rookie year, you know, we didn't get judged until we played games. So for me to pass any judgment without seeing these guys play 16, you know, 20 games, uh, you know, we, we talk, we go over plays and, and um, just in most more in a professional sense. Uh, he doesn't seem that to be bothered by any of the criticism or any of the concern. You know, he goes out there with a workman like mentality and, and you know, puts his hard hat on and goes to work. You know, I don't he doesn't seem bothered by any of the criticism or any of that.